Welcome back everyone to another episode of CWG Studios. Today we are talking about something very inconsequential in the grand scheme of time. There are many things that are more important to be talking about, and I would like to make some more meaningful content soon, but that is not today. I would like to take some time to talk about a video game that I did play for a bit called The Cycle. There was once a PvE VP shooter game that was near perfection and it was called The Cycle. Now you may be wondering why I am using past tense verbs, because this game is still here. But that's not The Cycle. That's The Cycle Frontier. I originally thought it was just a rebranding for the game, because it was pretty hard to search for anything about the game, because it's such an ambiguous name. So imagine my shock when I open up the Epic Games Store and prepare to play my favorite game, The Cycle, just to find out that it's shut down. They were actually reworking it and changing it from The Cycle to The Cycle Frontier. Over time, I forgot about it, but a few months later, I found some videos on YouTube and I saw a title that mentioned that this new Frontier was similar to Tarkov. Now, the original Cycle was very unfamiliar to Escape from Tarkov. In The Cycle, you got equipment from the planet brought it back and then bought weapons that you could buy on the planet later in other rounds. But after the changes, it's now more like Escape from Tarkov, and you can lose everything you've worked for if you die. And that's not very appealing to me. Like, you could lose everything you've worked for because someone got a Carla rocket launcher in the first few minutes of the game. Or you're just really bad at the game, which I was. Before the cycle got its frontier, it was more consolidated to inside the match. You only had to worry about what was going on in that match, and you didn't have to think about what happens after that match, because you'll still have access to everything you had before. And it's very obvious why Jaeger, the developers, switched models, because player base was not very high. It was very difficult to find any YouTubers who covered the cycle on a semi-regular basis. And if changing the cycle to be more like Tarkov saves it, I'm all for that. I love the art, I love the gunplay, I love the design of everything in the game. But I do find it a little sad that in order to keep the game alive, they had to change it and make it less unique. And that's kind of a shame. I loved the original cycle and I'm probably not gonna play this one, mainly because I don't have as much time as I did before, and if I lose everything I've been working on, it's gonna take very long to get it all back. I do hope the game goes well, and Jaeger's successful, because they do deserve it. They've been working on this game for quite a while. That was a bit of a different video, but I hope you liked it. I'm using my two cameras today. There's a GH5, there is an FC-80. I've been using the FC-80 for quite a while. Just got the GH5. It's really cool having two cameras because I can go like... It also gives me an excuse to flaunt my exquisite side eye. So if you did enjoy this video, consider liking, subscribing, commenting, sharing, anything you would like to do to help the channel. It's highly appreciated and thank you so much for watching. CWG does not pertain to anything other than my channel name in this context. CWG does not relate to any other acronym and should not be inferred as relating to any other acronym.